What is up, guys? We are back in Toronto for game number two of this series between the Red Sox and the Blue Jays. Today, the roof is closed. Unlike yesterday, it was open for most of the game. And when it comes to the starters on the bump for the Red Sox and the Blue Jays, tonight will be Garrett Whitlock versus Kevin Gausman. So definitely a decent pitching matchup tonight. Uh, yesterday was a decently high-scoring game. It was 7-6. to six. Today, I'm not expecting it to be that high. So we'll see. Anything could happen. Yeah, I mean, you might get some home runs with the roof closed. I think that's how it works, right? I like Kevin Gosman, one of my personal favorite pitchers. I think he's really underrated. I like Gosman. Yeah. He's, 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 he's been pretty solid this year. Struggled in the beginning, but really the last, I mean, really since like June, he, he, he's really been dominating. So hopefully he can put up, you know, six, seven innings. You know, quality start would be uh, adequate enough in my opinion. Yeah, so right now we're going to head to the center field flight deck and check out where Aaron Judge did some damage. I think it was this, was this year, right? Yep, it was uh, I think like last month when they were here last. Yeah, so let's go check out what Aaron Judge did in center field. Well guys, we are here, or I am here, in the center field flight deck. As you can see right there, right there it is. That is where Aaron Judge absolutely obliterated the ball a couple months ago. Had to check it out, they fixed it. Right on the top of like the Maple Leaf right there, that's pretty cool. I don't know, I find that interesting. I've never been uh, to the flight deck here in center field. Uh, again, not a lot of ballparks have like seats or standing room only sections dead center. I think it's pretty cool. Toronto has it, Chicago had it. Um, but yeah, so there it is. That's that's where the damage was, right about there. And that is uh, pretty damn far away from home plate, I have to say. Just, just take a look. So we got the delicious poutine dog. So obviously you come to Canada, you gotta get some poutine. It's already falling apart. It's very, very delicious. So let's get it. Pretty damn good. I like it. What's on it? So you got like gravy, cheese, like onions. Freaking messy as hell. I give this a 10 out of 10. I like this. Very good, very good. Messy, but it's worth it. Nine dollars Canadian, so it was like six bucks for me. Strongly recommend this. I like this. It's pretty good. Okay, so we're still in the flight deck, but Hayden uh, was a little behind me, and he got a baseball. Uh, got a sign. Got a sign. We got it signed by uh, Boston. I want to say reliever. Joe Jock. Don't know if I butchered that last name, but hey, for effort. Picture came up on the screen right now. But yeah, he signed it. I didn't have a pen. The kid next to me gave me a Sharpie, but uh, nice signature. We caught this in Chicago, so we brought it. But uh, yeah, very successful mission there. And we also got, yesterday was our first game here, but we went to the, uh, you know, whatever it's called, fan yeah. experience, and they gave us a little first game. Uh, little things. So he has some goodies so far. At least he uh, knew to sign it on the sweet spot. That's what I asked. Not yeah. like Joe Ryan where he signed it like literally above the MLB and he was logo. going to. I saw him. He had his pen like right down here on like sweet spot. Oh, oh my god. People, players should know that by now. I'm sorry. You're in the league. you got to know when to sign a baseball, where to sign it. So, but yeah, good stuff here on day two.
You don't pitch to Rocky Devers with the runner on. So Rafael Devers, RBI single right there to bring in the first run of the game. So Gosman's getting a little roughed up first, taking pitch counts high. Strike zone is pretty inadequate. Kind of like yesterday. Yeah, throwing the splitter a lot, and it's not really working. So a nice ground ball out here would be ideal, but limit the damage. Well, the Blue Jays just tied it up at one. Uh, Brandon Belt with the home run of the first. Yes. Now Vladdy Jr. is up. Uh, missed it. Didn't get the camera out, my apologies, but I will show a little bit right here. Uh, yeah, so tie ball game in the first, 1-1. One, one. Let's see what Vladdy can do. Sox, it is now two to one Boston after that RBI base hit to right by Rafi Devers. Second RBI of the day. Yeah, second RBI. He's been the man for the Sox thus far. <laughs> Second, so yeah, let's go. Let's go. I have a 3 0 count here, so put the ball in play, and Kiermaier will likely get him safely. I'm swinging here. You kidding? 3 0, one out, runner on second, third, swing it. Swing away, Bo. Take the lead 2 3. 
Yeah, why not? Honestly, challenger, why not? I thought he had him. I thought he was out, but I don't know. What, what do I know? About a thousand feet away. Well, the Blue Jays are currently challenging the outcaught second, if you're a little confused on that. So, yeah. But he's in. see it there. Poutine dog. Hayden got it earlier. I gotta try it now. It's my turn. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. This looks disgusting, not gonna lie. Alright, we'll try it. Kind of mid, hot dog soft, stuff on the top. I, I get, I get it, but you know, I don't know. I thought the mac and cheese in Detroit was better, so I give it like a 5.5. I don't know. It's fine. I mean, I get it. Maybe you're here for the first time, so I mean, I'm not like blown away, but it's all right. Well, uh, Jared Duran just hit a one-out double here in the top of the fifth. So we have Justin Turner up to the plate. Uh, Blue Jays leading by one, it's three to two. Sox could tie it on a hit from JT. And there's a foul ball. So let's see what Justin Turner does here with the man on second. are threatening again. So, two on, one out. Passes up to the dish. The Blue Jays are currently having a executive meeting uh, at the mound. Everybody's gathered. Umpire's gonna go break it up. But yeah, I mean, it would be lovely for a strikeout double play, but uh, I don't know. Gosman's been, uh, he's been pushed around a lot today. So, I, I mean. This might be his last inning. Oh, whoops, never mind, they did take him out. It's, oh, uh, no, Mata. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so, yeah, the bullpen's already at work, sorry. Yeah. I just okay. got back, but, yeah, Moss has been a uh, little beat up the first two batters. No outs. Moss letting the uh, first two get on, so, yeah, I mean, you'd like to strike out, then double play would be nice. Emi Garcia's warming up in the bullpen. Wouldn't be surprised if he comes in in this inning. Top of the sixth inning, so I mean, you gotta, you know, use your bullpen very wisely. Actually, there's no outs. I stand corrected. No outs. Yes, yeah, you're okay. My, my apologies, so yeah. There we go. Yo, you wanna like look at second base butt, and why are we taking five years in the Talk about a straight steal. My God, I never, wow. Damn. Well, Garcia probably thought they were going to do a double steal that he yeah. was going to go. And Devers was, wasn't really hustling down the line, but I mean, got to put your head in the game, Blue Jays. Oh, My God. There we go. Get out of it. Get it out. 
Well, you just saw the walk there. That's going to load the base for the Red Sox. Uh, another another meeting has occurred on the bump for the Blue Jays with the number nine hitter, Colton Wong, at the plate here. Um, yeah, again, still up by one. Still up by one, but yeah, I don't know. Two outs, up by one, three, two. Colton Wong. Yeah, big jam for the Jays. Okay, so tie game here, 4-4. Uh, four, four. Basically what happened was there was nobody out. Man on first. Legal was Duran. Verdugo hit a little like light, pretty much chopper slash routine ground ball to third. Chapman charged through to first to get him out at first to Vlad. Well, while that was happening, Duran took a wide turn from first over to second, past second base, heading to third. Vladdy saw that. After putting out at first, he threw it to third base. Well, that got away, allowed Duran to score basically all the way from first base to tie the game at four. So, and I mean, if Vlad, I mean, the throw beat him. Yeah. It's just it was an inadequate throw, and it bounced, and it got way in front of Bichette, and it went uh, all the way back into pretty much foul territory. So, yeah, I mean, not a uh, not a good first couple of bats for Eric Swanson, who's now in the game for the Blue Jays. Uh, yeah, Blue Jays' bullpen has been a big part of their success this season, but this week and last couple of weeks, they, uh, I, I don't know if they've been struggling, but so far in the series, you could argue they have. So, yeah, still one out. Now there's a man on for the Red Sox. Game tied at four, top seven. The Blue Jays closer, Jordan Romano, came in in the uh, top of the ninth of the game tie, trying to hold the, the tie score of 4 4. And uh, I said, Come on, boys, one, two, three inning. And then I said that first pitch, Verdugo, bomb. 5 4 Red Sox now. Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, quite disappointed in that. I, I jinxed it for the Blue Jays. I'm sorry, Blue Jays fans, I jinxed it. Well, we could still see a walk off if they hold it to the one run lead as Devers gets it back here. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Coming into clutch in the top of the ninth inning. Big part of the team's success today, along with Rafael Devers. Those two guys uh, really helped them out a lot today. Blue Jays, you know, they played decent, just couldn't get the job fully done. Uh, Red Sox, with the opener start, had the bullpen rocking all day. And uh, yeah, they did really well. So Chris Martin gets the W, Jordan Romano gets the loss. 41,000 fans in attendance, but Blue Jays cannot get the L, so yeah. Like Hayden said, disappointing loss. Uh, just like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these vlogs we've been doing the past couple of weeks. And uh, I'd appreciate it. Subscribe to Mets Talk with Hayden as well. His link is in the description down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys later.